Hi friends, my name is Ansha and I am an educator of an academy and you can follow me on our website or you can download the an academy learning app. So uh, in this lesson we are going to discuss the Vignay cipher and we will see how the decryption is done and how the encryption is done with examples. So if you like my lesson please rate, recommend and review and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hi, so we have Vignay cipher in this lesson and um, in Vigny cipher, it is a polyalphabetic cipher. We are discussing substitution ciphers and we are discussing polyalphabetic substitution ciphers. Okay. So, we learned many ciphers so far and uh, in this lesson, we have a special one, Vigny cipher. So, in this method, we are actually using Vigny's turbal or Vigny's matrix. So, this is a 26 by 26 metric. So, we have 26 rows and 26 columns. So, 26 alphabets written in 26 rows. So, uh, we will be um, we'll be having A, B, C, D up to Z in first row and uh, in second row also we will be having A, B, C, D up to Z. So, up to 26 we will be having these 26 alphabets. Okay. So, that is why we, ha we are having 26 by 26 matrix okay now in each row one shift is made towards right in a cyclic manner like this okay a b c d e f g h i up to z and in the second row we just shifted okay so here it is starting from b and ending with a and in the next row it is starting with c and ending with b and in next row it is starting with d and ending with C. Okay, like that. In the last row, it will be starting with Z and ending with Y. Okay, so uh, that is the Wigney's table or Wigney's metric. So, this is actually used in this encryption method to find cipher text. Okay, so here, let's get straight into an example. So, let my plain text be give money. So, this is the message that I want to encrypt and send uh, securely to some person, okay, some friend of mine. So, uh, we need a key here, okay, we need a key. So, my key is locked. So, your key can be anything of your choice. So, I am uh, taking this as my key, L-O-C-K, lock. Now, the condition is that, repeat the letters, so, letters of key, so that the number of letters in P and K becomes equal. So, what is P? Plain text. And what is K? Key. So, this is my plain text. So, in my plain text, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, um, 9 letters in my plain text and in my key, there is, uh, there are only 4 letters. Okay. So, I need to repeat the letters of this key cyclically so that the number of le letters in both P and K becomes equal. So, I am repeating it. So, G, I, V, V, E, M, O, N, E, Y. So, I am writing L, O, C, K. Again, I am writing L, O, C, K. Again, one is left, so I am writing L, okay? So, it's a cyclic repetition, okay? So, the length is equal now. Now, take the first element of P and K and find the intersection of row and column. So, that is how this is actually the procedure to encrypt a text using Wigner, okay? Wigner's method. So, first, you need to take these two elements, P and K. So, this is P and this is K, okay? So, we need to take two elements of, uh, first elements of these two text. So, I will be having this Vigny cipher here, Vigny's table here. So, uh, this row wise we are having key and uh, column wise we are having plain text. So, uh, we are taking G and L, this is P and this is K. So, K is selected, uh, that is row L. This is L. So, row L. We are selecting row L. So, key is row and plain text is column. So, row L and column G. Row L is this and column G is this. So, you need to find the intersection. So, what is the intersection? It is R, isn't it? R is the intersection. Okay, R is the intersection. So, um, for this, we will be having R as the cipher, cipher text letter and the next is I O. So, row O and column I. Row O is this and column I is this. So, what is the intersection? It is W, isn't it? So, W is the corresponding cipher text of this plain text letter, okay, with this key. Now, the next is V C. So, row 
C and column V. So row C is this, column V is this. So which is the intersection? It is X, isn't it? X is the intersection. So X will be the corresponding cipher text letter of this plain text letter with this key. Okay, clear? It is actually very simple. Row, key is taken as the row and plain text is taken as the column and then you find the intersection. Okay? So similarly, you can find all these. So here it is a row, row K and column E. Row K is this, column e is this, E. Now this the intersection is O. Okay, intersection is O. Then for M and L, M is this, L is this, find the intersection, it is X. Then we have uh, O, O. So uh, find uh, the, sorry, this is a, uh, row O and this is column O and the intersection is C. And similarly you find all the pairs and the intersections. Then we'll get the corresponding cipher. Okay, R, W, X, O, X, C, P, O, J. So first one was, see, for G and L we had R, then we had W, then we had X. So like that we'll get um, our text completely encrypted. So this text became R W X O X C P O J. Okay, clear. So that is Vigny's cipher. And now let's see how to decrypt this. So uh, this is my cipher text, and uh, I will be having the key also. Okay. Now uh, we are again using the same Vigny's table to find the corresponding plain text. Okay. So um, here the method is you just uh, find the row of corresponding key okay key letter is l for r so to find the corresponding plain text of r first you find row l so this is my row l and um, you need to find r in this row okay so you need to find where r is placed in this row so when you check r r is here see r is here so the corresponding plain text will be the column okay so r is here so the corresponding column is what column is g so the corresponding plain text letter to r will be g now the next one is next one is o so you find o row o and then you find w in this row so where is w yes w is here so w is here and you find the corresponding column it is i isn't it so i will be the corresponding plain text letter to w okay so for r we got g for w we got i so next is c so you find row c and you find x in that row okay for where is x x is here and which is the corresponding column it is v so next we'll have v and uh, similarly you can find all the letters okay so that is Wigner cipher so to find the encryption or to do the encryption you just uh, find row of key and column of plain text letter and then you find the intersection that will be the corresponding cipher text letter and to find the decryption to do the decryption you just find the row of key and you find the cipher text letter on that row okay then the corresponding column will be the plain text letter okay understood okay so that is Vigny's cipher I hope you all understood thank you for watching my video